Scorpio couples, hello and welcome to your weekly reading with Angelic Ascensions Tarot. The overall energy of your reading is the magician in reverse. So Scorpio, you could have gotten out of a situation where there was a lot of trickery involved. Um, and then it looks as though someone is feeling like they're stuck in the past. Maybe that's what a lot of arguments were about. Just that, the past and how things played out. It looks like someone's still upset about that or someone is crying over spilled milk. Someone is having a lot of remorse or maybe um, sadness that a relationship has ended. Um, because maybe someone didn't recognize it. It was truly time to go. And that is what how things played out and someone is still kind of resisting change because we have the Wheel of Fortune in reverse. As if someone is not um, ready or willing to close a cycle. Um, someone is kind of resisting change is what I'm seeing. And some of you could have been, could be, or will be involved with a water sign, a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, or this could have been what you got out of. Because I'm seeing that you have recently become single, or some of you have been single for quite some time. And uh, with, with the Nine of Pentacles, as if it's as if you have it all, but um, what you're missing is a partner right now. And some of you are hoping for that partner to emerge into your life. Some of you are dealing with a Leo Sun Moon arising. You're kind of regathering your strength, kind of trying to um, gather your bearings and move on from what it is that you just came out of. And it's time to breathe. This is a time of healing. It's a time of recovery for you because God has something beautiful for you on the other side of this. So you did recently um, go through the transition of a separation from, you know, you went from couplehood to separation. The time apart from your partner is on the horizon. So I won't say that you, what you got out of was great. You know, it wasn't. So I don't want to put it that way. What you got out of was necessary for you to because we've got the temperance in reverse, a major arcana card. Things are a bit unbalanced as far as your emotions are concerned. You still have you still have residual feelings of sadness. It is time to retreat. It's time to disconnect from the world. And I don't mean that literally, of course, but I do mean that like I said before, it's time to breathe. It's time to heal. It's time to move on. Because we cannot move forward looking behind us. We have two more months left in this year. It's time to let go of past baggage that's holding us back. So we may feel as though we've lost, but we have so we still have more to gain. We still have more to look forward to. We've got two cups here. So there is a union on the horizon for you. There is something new coming in for you, and it is solid, the Seven of, of Pentacles. It is something that will bear fruit something that will be worth your while that is coming in. Some of you could have a lot of ruminating thoughts. You could be thinking a lot about things right now. You could be fearing the worst for some of you. For some of you, like I said before, you're trying to get your bearings. You're trying to uh, reestablish your self-esteem. Some of you could have been dealing with a Gemini, Sun, Moon, Arising. This is another major arcana card, the lover's card. It's talking about having to make a head over heart decision. And um, that is what this time period is about. And that is what some of you will face right now, having to make a head over heart decision. Um, and we've got the two of wands. So someone has made a decision. Someone will ultimately make a decision um, because they want more. They want expansion. They want something more out of life than to be trapped in a stifling situation. Um, and to get out of a relationship where there's a lot of mind games involved. Seven of Swords talks about lying, cheating, sneaky behavior. Someone that is very covert in how they move. Someone that's not very honest. But with him looking behind him, it's as if someone is trying to walk away from these type of ways you know, walk away from these um, mind games. So it looks as though you have someone new coming in. Ten of Cups. Scorpio. So this this is very promising What uh, what is coming in for you right now. 
so uh, let's see. Some of you haven't moved on, though. Some of you are still dealing with this pain from the past, which explains the temperance card here. Some of you could have been dealing with a Sagittarius, or you have this placement in your chart. Leo and Gemini is also what I see here. Some of you could have been dealing with a fire sign. I'm sorry. An earth sign, a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. I'm actually seeing all elements here, so it really could be any sign that you were dealing with. But the situation became unstable. Someone you could have, you could see someone as having made very selfish decisions in the past. Um, and maybe you're just on a quest to find yourself and and get yourself back in balance and find out who you really are. You know, apart from this relationship, you are trying to find balance. You are trying to find hope and love because maybe you've become cynical, you know, and maybe this cynical attitude has been keeping you up at night, worried about things. Again, we're about to go into a new year. Let's leave this, these ways of thinking behind, these types of habits behind. Let's let's develop trust and, and belief that things will will work out the way that they're supposed to. You walked away from a situation where someone wasn't willing to work together with you to work on common goals in the relationship. Yeah, some of you are definitely resisting change, or some of you, or oh, this is your energy, Scorpio. You could have been dealing with a fellow Scorpio. Someone's resisting change and transformation. And some of you may ultimately turn down an apology from someone. And for some of you, having someone new or someone from the past come back into your life is a wish fulfilled. You feel like you have it all, but you want that tenth cup. So, ten of cups did come up earlier in the reading, so this is something very positive. There will be a chance to settle the past with um, whomever this person was from the past. And some of you are still feeling emotionally cold and distant from this person. Okay, and you could have blocked someone, and that's why you're not accepting their apology, or someone's apology is not getting through because someone's someone is blocked. And so there's there's but there was a lot of conflict in whatever relationship you were in, and I'm feeling like this is a past situation. So someone's hoping for forgiveness because um, someone could have taken you advantage in the past taken of advantage of you in the past or you felt taken advantage of you felt like there was no reciprocity but someone's really thinking about the situation but not taking action could be an Aquarius sun moon or rising could be someone at a distance from you and maybe there's been a lack of healing because of this blocked communication okay so, but I'm saying that the truth will be told and the truth will set you free. There will be a solid offer this time around because I'm seeing an engagement. Your love is ascending to a higher level of commitment. So whatever level of commitment the two of you left off on, I'm seeing that things will move in a positive direction and to this Ten of Cups energy. Okay. So someone will make the effort, and there will be an opportunity to settle things. Okay. And whatever miscommunications there were, I'm seeing that they will be cleared up. So I have, okay, and it looks like someone's going to let go of the past and let go of the way that things ended. Okay, well this is for someone. Block out distractions. Your life purpose and other priorities need your undivided attention. So it's time to take charge of your schedule and working environment by turning off electronics and avoiding anyone or anything that distracts you from what's important. You already know what these distractions are and you have the power to, to responsibly block them out. And then we have do the work. It's not enough to dream or pray. You've also got to take positive action steps that you are divinely guided to take. Consistently working on your priorities will make them flourish like a lush flower garden. So I feel like that is for someone. All right. So Sagittarius, this concludes your weekly reading with... An oh, yeah, actually, you know what? No, it doesn't. It doesn't conclude it. Holy Spirit, what additional word of, of advice do you have for the Sagittarius? Couples, for Sagittarius singles, compromise. So that's just it. 
I'm seeing Libra here. I've got a lot of balance cards here as if to indicate balance is definitely in uh, is definitely a priority this time around. Okay, compromise, and I believe that's self-explanatory. So it's it's going to be necessary to compromise the next time around. All right, so Sagittarius, this does conclude your weekly reading with Angelic Ascensions Tarot. If you'd like to book a personal reading, of course, you can contact me at my website, angelicascensionstarot.com, at my email, angelicascensionstarot at gmail.com, and of course, don't forget Instant Go. For those of you who are iPhone users, you can download this app, and it will allow the two of us to open up a chat session uh, via text about your current situation. Now, this has to be something that you're not looking for a lot of insight on. Um, you would be better off with a personal reading, but this is a less expensive option if you just have something quick, and I do generally respond within 24 to 48 hours, uh, so it won't be necessary to wait, wait a week for a a love reading from me, or it doesn't even have to be just related to love. It can be um, pretty much anything, and I can look into it for you. Um, so yeah, go ahead and look that up. And the developers are working on getting that app available to Android, so um, we'll look for that in the near future. All right, well, everyone, thank you again, and I will see you again very soon, Sagittarius, to see how November's treating you. All right, everyone, I'm wishing you the absolute best, and I'll see you again very soon. Bye for now.